question that might be interesting for us living in uh, landlocked uh, Western Canada, but the question is, do you think we should protect our oceans, which for us sometimes seem very far away? But um, I'll begin with Quinta. Do you think we should protect our oceans? Why or why not? Um, I'm going to go with of course. Um, it's just really important to have another, it's almost like a separate ecosystem on its own, and just to have all that just untouched and just not affected by us is really important because when we run out of stuff here, which we will, on land, well, we can kind of look towards the sea, but if we're ruining both places at once, it's not very good. Sarah, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? Well, sure. I've never seen the ocean before, so I have no experience with it, but I really appreciate being able to read about the things, and then I feel really sad when I watch documentaries and all these animals, and they're getting polluted, and I feel like I try my best to do recycle and do things that will help, but you know, we live off of lots of different kinds of animals, and we even get our fish from the ocean. And if we want to continue being able to go to Red Lobster, yeah. then <laughs> we're going to have to protect those places. Excellent. Anybody have anything else they'd like to add? I know myself, I've been to the ocean a few times and one of the saddest things I've ever seen, we were just, we were on our ship and we were going and we saw a plastic bag in the middle of nowhere in the water and it's, it really puts it into perspective that you're this far out, you've been on a boat for two days and you can see a plastic bag still that's been there. It's sad. Alright, aside from protecting areas of the oceans, what could you do to make sure you help, don't hurt, our animals and uh, creatures within the oceans? Uh, I'm going to put that question to Renan. <laughs> that would be a toughie. But, you know, I think we really need to reduce on our plastic utilization. Because plastic has a very, very hard time breaking down. Like, it, and even if we put it in a landfill, somehow, through some things, it still sometimes makes it out to the ocean, where it's dangerous, yeah. like choking and... <laughs> so to keep the oceans healthy, I'm hearing recycling, reduction, are there anything else that you Yeah, have? I've heard that lots of companies put a lot of pollution waste into the oceans. And I think that that could probably go down. Probably if they're more responsible in the way they were manufacturing. How would we ensure that that might happen, do you think? What would we have to do? Is there something that... I'm not a great scientific mind, I don't know. <laughs> do you think laws and yeah. government laws could help reduce Probably. that? More of a governance over what's allowed. Governance over what's I mean, allowed. we have a lot over here, so if we didn't, I mean, we need to save our earth. That's just yeah. the we reality. Need leaders. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We We have a lot. We could also take a little less. Especially our generation, because yeah. we're just, yeah. what's next? Yeah. Like, we're, like me, I'm in grade 12. I am going into the world next year, and it's just us that has to deal with everything now. Because everybody is going, and they're over the age where they're capable of doing something because they're just not taken as seriously as the younger minds are. And also we have all this social media now. Yeah. It'd be a good way, we have a real platform to get across to people our own age about doing better by the environment. Well, on behalf of the Canadian Wildlife Federation and Randy McLeod, uh, I'd like to thank you for participating in this panel discussion today. Is there anything you want to say to the Canadian Wildlife Federation? Take a look at the camera, give them a wave. Go Titan. Goodbye from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye from Canada. Yeah. Hello. And that's a wrap. <laughs>